I am the chairman of student acti or rather student conduct board and I'm a member of policy advisory committee. Policy advisory committee, I've done a lot of work on that. So we usually write proposals. We haven't done one this year, but last year I wrote the uh, gender neutral restroom policy. And that came at, uh, it wasn't our idea actually. The idea was one of the professors and they brought it to Senate and then they brought it to us and then we said, why? That seems like a strange idea, but uh, I investigated it and discovered it was a good idea, so I wrote that policy. I also rewrote the Student Senate Constitution this year, and that was passed, um, and it's going up the chain now, so we don't know if it's implemented yet. And then Student Conduct Board, what we do there is if a student uh, does something really bad to where the university is considering expelling them, then they come before a student conduct board. And there will be faculty and senate and student senate members on there. And so that hasn't happened this year, which is good. But uh, if it happens some before the year is over, then I'll sit on that committee and usually advocate for the student. I think that uh, I think Senate has done their best, and if you were to do a survey of the students on campus, they would probably say that they don't get communicated with, but I mean, when their social media, their the campus newspaper, there are forums, we put in the announcements every week, it really at some point comes down to the, to the students to be interested. So students who are interested, they get engaged and they participate and they're communicated with fully. Well, if you sit in your room and you want me as a student senator to come knock on your door and tell you what happened this week, I don't have time to do that every week. You know, I'm working on, because there's too many doors to knock on. Uh, so really, I don't think that they can improve um, maybe, I don't think they can improve on what they're trying to do. I love policy. I like being in the, in the conversation. I like being in the mix. And so I go find it. You know, um, if you wait for the conversation to find you, you're not going to be in it. Or at least you're not going to be in the one that you choose. You'll be in the one that somebody else has choose, which I'm not really into that. So uh, raising interests, I don't know. Maybe... If we had students that were more interested in politics, I, don't, I really don't know what, what more we can do. Uh, the size of the school limits the appeal because we have a lot of really great leaders, but we have some really busy clubs, and that's true of a number of organizations. It's just we're spread thin to where you really can't do both if you're going to do both really well. So uh, I think the appeal is... I think it's up to the students once again. They have to come interested and come hungry.